was back there in Gaylord this morning, this weekend, this weekend, Gaylord, Michigan, Gaylord, yeah, I just feel like I got shit crawling all over me, I, oh my god, I, this stuff doesn't take long for it to get back on you, oh, oh, I feel like, ah, what the fuck is that? Look at that. It's look at the fucking snakes. Yeah. Huh. Nothing up my sleeve. I guess it's coming for the toad that we brought back last fall and released yesterday. Ha. Huh. Oh, yeah. Huh. huh. Hey, look. Look what I found. The state news out of Lance, East Lansing, Michigan. Michigan State, you know? It's a newspaper from, from there. Go green, go white. Sounds kind of racist to me. But yeah, yeah. I've been pulling out of this thing different newspaper articles I've been in. I'm all over the news, man. You, you just, all you gotta do, I, I, I keep these papers and I'm sorting things out little by little. Oh, hi. Oh, snakes. You say snakes? That's my Conan the Barbarian impression. Look at that. Wednesday, Wednesday, Woden, Odin, and Wednesday, December 8th, 1993. I was going to Michigan State. Yep. And at the time, there in the winter, that was a cold, hard winter right there. Ooh, 40 below shit. People, hell no, it's 40 below. People out chanting and having protest on the president's lawn, at the house where the president lived at Michigan State at like two, three in the morning. I'm like, you go, you stupid bastards. Get out there, get me the day off. And they did. I'm not going out there at four o'clock in the morning. I had to walk to, to class in 40 below. I did my part. But, uh, yeah, there are all these newspaper articles. And at the time, they, uh, there were a bunch of, like, women protesting and stuff that winter. December 8th is when the paper was published. You think I remember all this stuff? But you want to know what they were protesting? I'm thinking of like a bunch of big women and people that never had a chance to climb a pole in public. You should have gone to the 4th of July in Johannesburg. You know, they had the grease pole. If you climbed that, you got the, and could get the $100 bill that was at the top of it, it was yours. You had every opportunity to climb a pole. Why are you gonna yell because you didn't get to climb your pole and other people are doing it? But it was a big stink outside of the strip clubs. They were all, ha ah, out there protesting and chanting, you know, and, and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna write a letter to the paper. This is a first letter I ever, I, 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 I don't know. It's the first letter I ever wrote to a paper. It's called Your Voice. It's in the state news out of Michigan State. And it's called, and it's the first one. There's another one down there, basis of Yandor's letter, erroneous. Um, that's written by a guy. I'm, Mr. Thomas recently passed Brady Bill's, uh, uh, I think I've been spelling ass name wrong all this time. Anyway, yeah, it was about the Brady Law, of that guy that got shot. Mine was live and let live. And it starts out the Your Voice column. 
And it says, <clears throat> Every day I pick up the state news, that's a lie, and read the opinion columns, hoping to see something worth reading. But it is an incredibly rare event when I do. I'm putting down their people and putting down their articles. I get first first shot here. Ah. For the most part, it is nothing more than whining and bitching sent in by people that obviously cannot find anyone in their immediate vicinity that will listen to their rectal excre excretions. I just could not stand listening to all of you misled sheep any longer and decided to put an end to my restraint by joining your give me attention game. That's in quotes. And writing a letter. The next paragraph contains an example from one of you that grabbed my attention. The snivel is, in, is titled, Stop Protest Effective, in quotes. Stop Protest Effective, that's what they called it. S-T-O-P, capitalized, Protest Effective. From the December 2nd issue, the conscientious megalomaniac who wrote it speaks of how beauty pageants are demeaning and insulting to all women. That's a quote. That is a very bold statement, considering that many of the women who compete in beauty pageants, dance naked, and work as models could not do those things any, anymore because of some miracle in which you people's communistic society came through. How far do you think that would knock you down in the job market? And another thing, I do not recall the last time I saw a letter from some male, male pig scum crying because he saw a man burying his torso on a beer commercial. That's something you should be whining about. I would be outraged if the law mandated that I cover myself like that. It's bad enough I'm forced to wear pants, but I hate the way bras pinch my skin and bikinis obstruct my tan. You self-proclaimed liberals make me sick. If you would just mind your own damned business, you would enjoy yourself a lot more. I could, ooh, you know, this is a letter. I, I have to stop right there because I haven't read this, but this is from 1993. Remember when I said, you know, your shadow is always changing. And how Muhammad Ali said, any man who thinks the same way at 40 as he did at 20 hasn't lived his life. Um, remember, we're all capable of change. Ah, oh, I say self-proclaimed liberals because self-proclaimed means they're calling themselves that. Nobody else is calling them liberal. These are people that are trying to take things away from us the same as everybody else. You need to get in line, that's what they're saying. You self-proclaimed liberal. Liberal means freedom. It means the freedom to uh, express yourself. What's a woman doing on a pole that, but expressing herself? So she gets paid for it. Um, okay, so, so here it goes. Well, I don't know what this is gonna be. Well, look at this. It's like you're sitting with me right in the morning with my with my newspaper and getting the news. And look, there I am in the paper. I'm like, oh, this guy sounds interesting. Okay, here we go. You self-proclaimed liberals make me sick. If you would just mind your own damn business, you would enjoy yourself a lot more. I can respect Hitler in the sense that at least the fascists admitted when they were trying to take away all of our freedoms. I would end this by requesting that you people just live and let live. 
but that would require some bit of revision. This would seem to be more logical. Before you go around telling others how to live their lives, why don't you get one of your own? Burn any good books lately? J. Archer Elderquist, psychology sophomore. I can just see it now. My mom's so excited. Hey, look, Judas made the paper. I got all these fucking newspapers. Isn't it amazing? I can't believe they used all the words that I wrote. It must be a liberal mag, liberal rag, liberal whatever you call it, newspaper. Oh. I'm trying to put things away. It's just shocking, isn't it? Just standing over all this gold. And my voice got heard. That's all that matters. You see, my voice is getting heard now by about six people. Doesn't make any difference. Why not let it be heard? Oh, because if you jug head start believing it, there's gonna be trouble. <laughs>